Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this recording we are going to look at the topic of handling unit management. More specifically we will look at how you can in addition to the main product being delivered see how you can goods issue from stock the packaging material and this packaging material could be a box or a pallet for example or both. This packaging material will be referenced in the handling unit that is used to identify the packed item and will generate a delivery item. Whether you use handling unit management or not, customers have great flexibility in terms of how they want to account for the use and consumption of packaging materials. By that I mean that at one extreme customers may purchase packaging materials by using purchase orders that are account assigned to a cost center for example, meaning that in this case there is no inventory management and we'll have some sort of manual visual reorder point trigger i.e. once the stock falls below a certain quantity replenishment will be triggered manually and the ordering cycle will once again start. Some customers may connect packaging materials with inventory operation and planning operations, meaning that packaging materials may have a reorder point or forecast, MRP triggers the replenishment elements, i.e. purchase requisitions, that are then converted into purchase orders. The purchase orders are then goods receipted, so we have inventory management and the consumption, i.e. the removal from stock, could be done on a daily basis, for example, by doing a goods issue to a cost center. However, you may also want for the consumption of the packaging materials to be more dynamic and recognized at the time of performing a goods issue for your outbound deliveries, for example. So in the example that we are going to look at, we will use handling unit management to generate a packed item and we will then copy into the delivery the material and quantity of packaging materials that we use to pack those handling units. Once we perform the goods issue for the delivery, we'll, we will also check the stock situation of the packaging materials to verify that our stock have indeed been correctly decremented. With this scenario, this means that you can introduce a certain level of automation in your processes by connecting the logistics execution, the outbound deliveries, with your MRP planning operations, your inventory operations, as well as your purchasing process. Now that we have covered what we will talk about, let's jump into the system and see how what that looks like. First we'll look at the configuration settings that are available to trigger the creation of a delivery item for handling units, i.e. the packaging materials. Then we'll carry out a process in the system to see exactly how this works. Before we delve into the system, let's look at the starting situation so that we can understand what it is that we are trying to change. Typically what would happen is that you would create a sales order and provided you had the sufficient quantity in stock you could then move on to the next step which is the creation of the outbound delivery to record the goods issue of materials from stock to the outbound delivery and deliver the goods to your customer. Within the context of the outbound delivery process, you also have the option to access the packing screen to record the fact that you are utilizing a type and quantity of packaging material and this will also then create what we call a handling unit, a unique identifier that will then allow you to track that particular item that is being shipped. Prior to accessing the packing screen, you will notice that the packing status is at this point empty because it has not yet occurred. Once you reach the packing screen, you then have, depending on your system setup, the ability to automatically determine the appropriate packaging material 
or you also have the option of searching for it. In this case, we have determined that the packaging material is going to be a material called PM Palette and has also generated a handling unit, giving it a unique number in your system. Once the packing has occurred, you will notice that the packing status is updated to completed. But what we are really trying to solve for in this episode is that we would also want to see this PM palette material that we used in the packing step appear as a material just like the one that we are sending to our customer. And what we of course want is for this palette to be goods issued from stock at the same time as when I will process the goods issue for this particular delivery. So this has kind of set the scene of what it is that we are trying to do. In order to have the packaging materials associated with handling units appear as delivery items, we'll first need to look at the configuration capabilities that are offered to you to enable this to happen. Firstly, you have within the context of the handling unit configuration, you have this setting called maintain packaging material types, where you have the ability to, for a given material type, packaging material type, indicate that you want, whenever this material type is used, to generate delivery items. So it's a very simple radio button. You can switch it on or off. And once you have switched it on, and whenever you are going to use a packaging material of this particular type, then the packaging material will be associated to your delivery as a delivery item. So this is one option that you have, and it's defined at the packaging material type level. The other option that you have is that you can define this at the delivery type level. And in this case, we are looking at the delivery type LF, which is the standard type used for outbound deliveries. And again, at the bottom of the screen, we can see here we have this radio button that has this generation of delivery items for handling unit packaging materials that is available for uh, activation. So these are the configuration options that are possible. In our case, what we have also done, because we are saying that we are going to want for this delivery item, this packaging material, to be goods issued from stock. So this means that my material, my packaging material, my palette, needs to also be maintained in inventory because I'm going to be moving the stock quantities whenever I goods issue that palette from stock. Now, the example material that I will use in uh, this particular uh, scenario is a standard verb packaging type material. And the only thing that I have really done to it is to extend the purchasing views, the sales views, uh, as well as the accounting views, so that they can allow me to fully purchase as well as account for that material in my inventory. And I have also maintained some of the MRP information so that I can have a reorder point associated with that material. And whenever my stock is going to fall below that reorder point, it will trigger replenishment by the creation of a requisition during the MRP run. The only thing that is really notable is that in this material, I have referenced the packaging material type YPR1, which is that uh, type that I have just created in customizing. The other thing that you can do, and this is, uh, I would recommend that you do it, but it's not mandatory, it's to create a packing instruction. This will automate the process. It will remove any questions that your warehouse staff might have with regards to what should I use to actually ship this particular product. So it's going to be system guided. And in this case, what we have done is we have said that 48 of our widgets, so the items that we are selling, uh, fit onto one pallet. So we have here a packing instruction that says that this material, PRTG50 boxed pallet, we can fit 48 of those onto one pallet. As I said, it's not mandatory, but if you are going to create packing instructions, then you have the uh, app called Create Packing Instructions that is available to you to define exactly what we are showing on here. 
and then you would also have to create determination records so that uh, the uh, packing instructions can be using the condition technique automatically determined in the outbound delivery as an example. So as usual, now that we have covered the theory, let's move on to the system to see how this unfolds. So first of all, what I wanted to show you was that this particular packaging material is going to be an item that is maintained in inventory. The starting position is that we have for our packaging material PR palette, which is of type verb, so it's a packaging. We currently have 16 units in stock in our plant 1710, storage location 171A. We have a purchase order that has been sent out to our supplier and it is now ready for receipt at our warehouse. So let's move on to doing a goods receipt for our purchase order. We'll simply say goods receipt. We're doing it for this particular purchase order. We check the items that are coming in. So this is our material PR pallet. We are receiving 20 of those. We are happy with this information. We're going to say OK, and we're then just going to post. So I should now, once this is complete, have an additional 20 pallets in stock. Let me go back to the stock overview. I'm going to refresh my screen, and that 16 should go up to 36. Hence, we've accounted for those 20 additional units that we have received. The next step is that we are going to want to go to the outbound delivery, generate the packing instructions and copy that particular PR pallet packaging material into the delivery as a delivery item. So again, in this case, I've already created the sales order. It's for 48 of those widgets. And we simply indicate the sales order number to generate the outbound delivery. Here are the details. So this is my material that I am actually selling to my customer. PRTG50. It's 48 units that we are selling. I'm going to access the packing instruction screen. And because I have maintained those packing instructions as well as the determination uh, record, I simply click on automatic packing. The system should determine, and as you can see, does determine the uh, appropriate packaging material, which is that PR pallet item and has also hence generated that particular handling unit. I'm happy with what I see here and I'm going to simply go back. So already here you can see the difference between that initial scenario that we looked at where we did not have the handling uh, unit packaging material as a delivery item, whereas we do have it now. The next thing that we need to do is go to the picking to simply confirm that we have picked the quantities that we were requested to pick. So I will confirm the picking of the 48 widgets as well as the one pallet. Now in our case, we have restricted it to just one packaging material, the pallet, but there could of course have been a hierarchy, meaning that my widgets could have gone into a box, which could have gone into a crate, which, have gone, which could have gone into my pallet. So now that I'm happy with this, I'm simply going to say post goods issue. The system is indicating to me that the outbound delivery has been saved. And if we now go back to our stock overview and refresh the screen, we should have this quantity go down by one, seeing as we used one pallet in our outbound delivery. So let us refresh this. And there you go. We can see that we went from 36 to 35. So hopefully this explains to you the steps and the possibilities that you have if you want to account for the packaging material completely within your processes, within purchasing, within inventory, within planning, within accounting, in a more integrated and automated way. So there we go. As usual, I hope this recording was instructive and insightful, and you can now easily set up your SAP S4 HANA Cloud environment so as to generate delivery items, not just for the products that you are actually shipping to your customers, but also the packaging materials that you have used, and essentially handle them like any other product that is managed in inventory. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like 
or comment and subscribe to help us continue provide free content via this channel. Until next time, stay safe.